All right, we are off on adventure on the new bike. So today I am heading back to one of the state parks. I've already done this one before, um, but I have the afternoon off and I wanted to take this uh, new little dual sport that I bought out for a test run. So that's where we're going. We'll be heading over to Pinnacle Mountain State Park. I decided what I want to do is maybe start getting patches from all the state parks that I visit. Uh, I've got a leather vest that I'll put them all on. I thought that'd be kind of cool since we're trying to visit all the state parks and do all these geocaches. So there in the distance is Pinnacle Mountain. Got kind of a sloping side and then a steeper side that's more of a climb. You can go up either way and down either way. Then there's a trail that goes all the way around the bottom. And nobody here. Well, here's our playground. We got some bathrooms. There's no camping facilities here, though, which is a bummer. It'd be a really nice camping spot. No camping's allowed, but there is an area that's uh, federally managed just down the road called Mama Al State Park that has RVs and regular camping. It has been raining the past two days, and the river is up. Whoa. I don't know if I've ever seen it this high. Well, let's go see how the visitor center is doing and find the other cache. So Pinnacle Mountain is actually a pretty good spot for geocaching if you want to find a lot. There's several along the base trail that are micro caches. There's a few big ones up the top of the mountain. Um, the Washtenaw Trail starts here that goes all the way to Oklahoma and all along there there's some caches as well. Uh, there's uh, obviously the state park cache which we're going to go do today and then lots of hiking and mountain biking as well. Last time I went and found one there's uh, some on the mountain biking trail so I made a caching mountain bike trip. It was a lot of fun. parking lot they're building for the mountain bike trails. Yeah, I just thought I didn't bring my mask. May not do her. Patch day. May have to come back and get that another day. But we'll still stop and see if we can relocate the cache and go to the overlook. Alright, we're here. So the overlook is just above here. This cache is one where you have to really watch for other people if I remember correctly where it was. So it's good to come in the middle of the day or early when there's not going to be around people around. The weekends are probably going to be pretty busy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember where this one is. Just kind of on the edge of the parking lot. So let's go refind it. Well, I found that one pretty easily, so you guys should have no problem with it. Like I said, it's in an area where people kind of see what you're doing, so try to be a little sneaky about it. There's an earth cache at the top of the overlook I'm going to go do. That's where you basically answer some questions to what you see, email it to whoever, put the cache up, and you get credit that way. It's a good way to learn about areas.
All right, away we go. I'll answer the questions for the Earth Clash when I get home. But for now, we'll just head on out. Starting to sprinkle again, so I guess we're not done with rain for the day. Glad I didn't make a trip up the mountain. That'll be for another day. Well, I think that's going to conclude our uh, small adventure today as we leave the state park and head back home. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to start doing these series again. I don't know if anybody's really watching them or following them, but honestly, I really enjoy just messing around with making videos and I'm interested in trying to go all around the state. The next couple ones I'm going to do, I think we're either going to go camping or take the uh, big Harley and do a ride to go out to them. I've gotten most of the ones that have been in the central Arkansas where I live and all the other ones have got to be pretty much overnight camping trips or really long day trips. Alright, talk to y'all later.